Friday night baseball from Dodger Stadium in L.A. Tonight, game two of this four-game weekend set between the St. Louis Cardinals and the Los Angeles Dodgers. It's going to be a premier pitching matchup. Two of the league's hardest throwers go head-to-head -head next. Let's play ball. Ow. Here you go. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, number 87. He comes in today, Will leading the, the National League in hitting this the year. Baseman. Guy does a lot number of different things in the ball field. Not only has this guy been a hit machine all year, but he also leads the league and runs scored right now. So you have to give credit to the guys behind him who are driving him in as he's been getting on all season long. He'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. And, fellas, we take a look at the Redbirds entering play here tonight. It was another loss for them last time out, and that makes them 2-8 and eight over their last 10 games. Yeah, guys, yesterday's loss was a tough one, a one-run loss. Hopefully they were able to just acclimate themselves to the city, get a chance to hit the streets, maybe regroup a little bit, and show up today ready to go. There aren't many vets in the league that can still generate the kind of velocity we've been seeing from him. How uncommon is it to see a guy of his vintage still lighting up the radar gun? I know everyone loves the long ball, Matty, but this is why I pay the price of a ticket right here. Two of the game's best, two of the hardest throwers competing at the top of their game. Dan, you have to love this stuff. You know, Dero, we thought coming into this one it was going to be a low-scoring affair. Both of these pitchers look like they're locked in early, and runs are going to be really difficult to come by. They both look like they're on point so far. The St. Louis Cardinals attack you on defense in this fashion. And this team, they're not going to be moving around as much as some of the new age teams. The shifting and moving the third baseman over second base and the right fielder to play third base. This is going to be your stationary team trusting pitchers to execute pitches. So here's the cleanup hitter. Number 87, Number 87 comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hit hard beat it on the up, ground. Beat it up, the second. Beat it up. Come on. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. Jeez, this looked like a routine grounder that just got away from him. Every school kid knows that you've got to look it all the way into the glove. He didn't, and now they've got to deal with a one-out base runner. So that'll bring in Teoscar Hernandez coming into this so one against fielder. Michael Fulmer. Day He's got two sure. hits in 18 right. at-bats. He's also gone down on strikes nine times. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there two away. Really impressive pitching right there. Sometimes as a pitcher you can get frustrated when you make now a good pitch and you don't get that ball from the umpire. But what does he do? He comes back with a good pitch and gets the strike. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Ramirez round has hard, a round beat hard, on it. Scoring. He makes he's the scoring. play, and that'll end the inning. One left for L.A. Through four. Still tied. Nothing, nothing. Digging in. Patrick Wisdom. Now all for one after Number he took a look at strike three in his first plate appearance. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got a bear down. He gets the two strikes. Has to put the ball in play. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. 15 up, 15 down to start the ball game. Home half of the fifth coming up, and we still have no score. So digging in now, number 87. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Run it up, run it up, run towards second. And that will get through into right. So there's your possible go-ahead run on base to lead off the inning. Well, it took him till the seventh, but he gets his first hit of the game here, and that'll extend his hitting streak. Yeah, and he didn't come out of his he didn't come out of what he was trying to do all day, Dan. Kept the front shoulder tucked, 
kept the ice water in his veins, and didn't try and get too big. Extends the hidden streak. Nice job. You know, Dero, I talked to him before the game about the streak, and he said the toughest now part is it. he Left hopes fielder. to get hits early Day in the game Oscar. to take the pressure off. He had Earth to wait for the seventh day. inning in this one to come through. And he misses with it, ball four. So the potential go-ahead run moves into scoring position now. Well, they've struggled offensively in this one so far, but after that walk, they've got runners at first and second and look ready to make a little noise. Just need a big hit now. Ready for another shot now. Ramon Laureano. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. And this is swung on and missed. And boy, they took care of a key man there. One away. Ready once again, Jose Navoa. He'll look to bounce back after striking okay. out his last time up. Navoa. Looking for the K. Here's the pitch. Line to the right side. But he'll barely have to move out there and right as he hauls this one in for the second out. And the next up will be Alex Verdugo. 0 for 2 right from you. him so far in this one. Verdugo. On the ground to the right side. DeYoung fields it cleanly. On to first, and the Dodgers come up with nothing as that ends the inning. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and two men left on. Eighth inning coming up, and we still have no score. So coming to the plate, number 87. Last time through was a base hit. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Easy fly ball into shallow center field. Rosario has a play and he makes the catch for the second out. So it's first and second now. Nobody out. And that'll bring in the Illinois State product, Paul DeYoung. Now the 0 2 pitch. 2 2 2. Guys here as he's going to try to lay one down. And the off balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. Go ahead, run to third there after the bunt. The sacrifices aren't everyone's favorite play because you give up precious outs, but they do have a lot of weight. Hey, it took them an extra frame to do it, but hey, they're not going to complain as they lock up a nice road victory here in 10 innings. And tonight's ends as a 3 nothing shutout win. The St. Louis Cardinals wrap up their 20th road win of the season. Trey Wingener earns his third win of the year in relief. Ryan Stanek wraps it up for the save, his 21st of the year. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show.